The homework problem in question is one of 3D trigonometry. You're given a cube in the atomic structure. Uh, there's ions, positive and negative ions, that are located around the structure. And we're asked for the distance between a front, we're going to say this is front left corner, and rear right corner. We want to want to know this distance here. And you're given this distance. We're going to call it measurement x, because in our picture that's the x-axis. You're given this distance, and it's a cube, so it's the same. We're going to call that z, because this is the one we're shooting at 45 degrees. So we're pretending like this goes into the paper. And we're given this distance. Again, it's a cube, so they're all the same. And we'll call that x as y. So how do you find the distance from lower left x to upper right y, deep in the z of the cube? Well, it's simple Pythagorean, and you break it into two pieces. You look at x and y, and we go for the hypotenuse of the xy square. Simple two-dimensional math. And the hypotenuse, the resultant for the x of uh, z square, would be equal to the square root of x squared plus z squared. And that gives you this value here. Now, if we look at this triangle, the diagonal of the xz square, the upward side of the right triangle, the y side, then we find the resultant that we're looking for. Well, let's call it the answer. That's going to be equal to the square root of this rz thing, this xz thing. squared plus y squared. So we've got that. Now we can do it as two mathematical steps. Come up with a number here and then substitute it into here. But let's look at this just for a second longer. Our answer can become equal to the square root of now what was r uh, xz? r xz was the square root of x squared plus z squared. What are we going to do with that? We're going to square it. Well, the square root of x squared plus z squared squared is simply x squared plus z squared. So that to find the diagonal of the three-dimensional shape, we just add to that y squared. And that gives us our diagonal across a three-dimensional cube. We'll call that A. Now when we get into quantum physics and some of the higher levels, we're going to be talking about three-dimensional mathematics, but we'll also talk about four-dimensional space, five-dimensional space. So watch what you do. The mathematics of five-dimensional space, let's say some diagonal across a four-dimensional, let's pick, you know, we're just going to go multiple dimensionals, uh, let's just pick a four-dimensional space, and let's say the diagonal across a 4D space is equal to, and watch this, we're just going to use the same principle we use, say it's the square root of a squared plus x squared plus uh, y squared plus z squared or z for some of you. And so that's uh, four dimensional space. Five dimensional space continues onward. Alright then, well that's your first homework uh, question. The rest of them are conversions. Just be very meticulous and you'll be fine. Thank you.